Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365, and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Doing everything we can to make Tuesdays a bit more tolerable. For this Top Water Tuesday, we did it. We compared these two baits. We compared the Big Bite Baits Real Deal Shad to the Zoom Horny Toad. We fished both baits. We went out to Lake Nakamixon on Saturday and we spent three, four hours out there and every 20 minutes we switch baits. Now, this is a tough proving ground. Nakamixon is not an easy lake. And unfortunately, the topwater bite was not the greatest on this particular day, at least not for me. But I did learn a ton of things about the baits. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned, especially about this one. So stay tuned, keep it here, and we'll get right into it. So what I did was we started out with the horny toad. I think I arrived at the lake around uh, eight o'clock in the morning and I'd fish the horny toad for 20 minutes, set a timer, put that down after the timer went off, picked up a different rod and fished this bait, the big bite bait, real deal, shad. And so that's what I did. I just swapped out every 20 minutes. We'll show you some of the footage of that right now. One blow up so far on the real deal shad here after almost 40 minutes of fishing. Well, so far, we've been out for an hour. We had one bite on the real deal and one bite on the toad. That one I felt. Well, another big smash on the real deal shad, but I cannot get anything hooked. I should have probably hesitated just a second longer on that bait, on that bite. I felt that fish, but I didn't get him. A little bit frustrating. You probably saw that one. You were in the right camera angle to see it. You know, we're learning stuff about these baits. It's not quite the right bite today, but we're forcing it, and that's what happens when you force a bite. So we had some situations where we were getting some bites, some blow ups, but we weren't hooking up. They were missing the bait or I would miss them. And as the day went on, the bite got a little bit better, at least for this one, for the real deal shad. For the horny toad, the bites seemed to be a little bit more tentative and a little more subtle. I don't know why that is. And, and I did catch a good one on the real deal shad. We'll show you that right now. This one I got. <laughs> this one I got. The real deal. <laughs> Come on in here. Whew, that's a good one. That one took the real deal. And that was a good deal for me. <laughs> well, the real deal scores first. Only about five minutes to go in this 20 minute period, but we finally got a fish on here. Nice one too. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm learning, I'm learning about the bait. We're gonna go into detail, so keep it here. So that's the only bass that I got to the boat on this particular day. They both got about an equal number of hits, although the hits seemed to be more aggressive on the real deal shad. 
and I learned a lot about this bait. The horny toad, I already know this bait very well, as you know, it's one of my favorite baits. I've thrown this for years. I know it like the back of my hand. This bait, however, throwing it as a top water is new to me. I just started doing this uh, this year. I started playing with it, experimenting with it last year, and this year I started throwing it. So I'm going to change perspectives and, and show you some of the differences, some of the pros and cons of each one of these baits and why I really, really like this thing. This is, a, this is going to be a player in my topwater fishing arsenal for a long time to come. Okay, so comparing the baits. We got the horny toad right here and we have the real deal shad. The horny toad has got, has got a thicker body overall from uh, back to belly. And uh, the real deal shad is very flat. You know, you can see along that back there, it's a very, very flat back. It does have uh, these fins. I think they're meant to to plane the lure straight if you if your if your hook is coming out the top. But I'm not real. I'm not doing that. When I fish this with top water, I have the I have the bait rig this way, sideways, where the hook comes out. Well, let me show you. Just happen to have one rigged up right here. So. That's how I have it rigged up, sideways. And then if I want to make it weedless, I just push this into the plastic a little bit, and now I have a weedless setup. So let's talk about these baits a little bit, the pros and cons. The big thing about the horny toe, the thing that's always made this a killer in my opinion, is the sound that it makes. It has a very attractive, subtle sound. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why it gets bit as well as it does. And that's all in the tails. So from a sound perspective, the horny toad is louder. It's a little bit of a louder sound, and that sound I think is a really big quality of the bait. For the real deal shad, this is kind of an interesting thing. The sound of the bait is even a little more subtle than the horny toad, but visually these tails are louder, visually. What I mean by that is they do more things visually in the water. You can see they're quite a bit bigger. They're, they're uh, separated differently than, than the horny toe tails are. And they're just a different design. But these things flip around a lot more. Uh, they're bigger. And from a visual perspective, they're quite a bit more easy to see than the tails on the horny toe. And I think that's a big plus for the real deal shad when they're, when they're looking for the bait. The other nice thing about the real deal shad is because it's flat like this, it comes over, it slides over the tops of lily pads very nicely. It, the, the horny toad does too. It slides over the top well, but I think this one does a little bit better sliding over the tops of pads and then, and then in the net, into the next opening. And uh, so I, I like that part about the bait. The other thing I really like about the real deal shad is take a look at, uh, it almost ha looks like it has live scales on it. Do you, can you see that gold, the gold fleck in it? And even... You can see here, hopefully this will look clear. The eye came out of this one. This is a beat up one. If you ever had a bait fish before, if you ever fish with bait, you can remove their scales and it actually looks like this. See that right there above my finger? It looks like the scales came off that thing. That's because of the way this thing is painted. But you can take this bait and rough one of them up to make it look like it's been roughed up and, and therefore have that like missing scale effect. And again, another big advantage. The third and huge thing that I really like is it's got these eyes and they stay in there real well. I mean, I fished that thing hard all day long and it, it came out afterward after I, after I had to stop using it because it was just too beat up to use anymore. But that's the, the real deal shad. I mean, it has a lot of the qualities that are gonna catch fish when you use it as a top water uh, over the pads and over a different kind of cover. Those tails, they separate well. And, you know, from a visual perspective, the bait is a little larger as well. It's a little longer, right? You can see the difference in the length of the bait. It's about a half an inch longer. Um, you know, the, at least the one, I think you can get two different sizes. I think there's a three and a half and a five inch. This is the five inch, if I remember right. But you can see that, that uh, you know, it has a profile that's just a little bit bigger, but not too big. And the fish really seemed to be more aggressive on this one yesterday. Now, it was just one day, 
you know, you can't really make that kind of comparison and say, oh, this one's better than this one. I, that, on different days, in different places, at different times, one could be better than the other. They're both great baits. I will always throw a horny toad, but I'll have one of these tied on as well because I really thought that this came through really nicely and it ended up catching me the fish yesterday. Well, I hope you found that video enlightening, helpful for your fishing, that real deal shad. You know, it's funny, you look on the internet and I don't really see anybody talking about fishing it the way I fished it, talking about fishing it as a topwater. Everybody says, Texas rig it with a, with a weight in front of it and pitch it in the weeds. Well, I'm sure that works great. In fact, I've done that and caught fish that way with it. But I think the real strength of that thing is as a topwater through the pads and throwing it out. In the, I mean, you could throw that out in thick pads and just crawl along the pads and then just let it drop in the hole and it'll just slowly circle down. I mean, it looks like a dying bait. I chose a shad color, but there's bluegill colors as well. And when you're fishing the pads later in summer, especially it's, it becomes a bluegill bite. I'll start using that bluegill color probably do a little better still so we'll keep it uh, we'll keep fishing this thing throughout the summer right because I really liked fishing it and as we do we'll share how we're doing with it maybe we'll do a video just on that uh, for a, you know a longer term fishing term period and we'll see how we do with it looking forward to bringing you more content keep it tuned here we got something coming out real soon uh, if you if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe when you subscribe if you hit that bell, that'll give you a notification for when the next video is ready. Of course, we're always going to have a Topwater Tuesday video for you, but uh, we throw at least a video or two in between there as well, or at least try to. And again, if you haven't hit that like button, please give me a like. It uh, helps me get the video out to more and more people, and that's the whole goal here is to grow the channel and get out there to more people. Looking forward to doing the next one for you. Keep it tuned here. Hope to see you out in the water, and as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.